Hey world, so it's your girl April and pretty sure you know that but of course I'd have to introduce myself to all my new subscribers so thank you all for staying tuned for my channel and for all of my new subscribers thank you for subscribing. So you guys know I am like a big fanatic on being frugal, cheap, budget friendly, whatever you want to call it, okay? So I think I'm making my business to go to the Dollar Tree at least once a week especially on a Thursday because um that's when they put the new stuff out so I'll be trying to get there before anybody else does to see what they have so this one here I did kind of go overboard I spent sixty one dollars at the Dollar Tree yesterday because um I told y'all before when y'all get in the Dollar Tree y'all be thinking like oh it's just a dollar it's just a dollar but now y'all see that I didn't went overboard and added up sixty dollars worth of crap that I mean I could use some of it I mean like yeah it was all needed you know what I'm saying like so these are like little gift giving ideas for friends or friends children or people at work you know what I mean little gift giving ideas so of course you know some people may think that the dollar store is super cheap because it is but you can find a lot of nice things and some of the toys may not be that great but if the kid ain't that rough, then I think the, the toys will last a little bit longer. So these are just my basic gift giving ideas for the holidays. So what better way to do the holiday spirit but with my cute Santa hat. So this I did show you in another video, uh, last week's Dollar Tree video. This actually came from the 99 cents only store. It's so cute. It's got like sparkles and glitter or whatever for 99 cents and make the cutest little Santa today for this video. So Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas. So first of all, let's begin with the wrap and paper. You guys love gifts. You guys love to wrap gifts. Um, I think a lot of people love to save money on wrapping gifts and buying wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. I love to buy wrapping paper from Dollar Tree because it's only a buck. However, there is a method to buying wrapping paper at the Dollar Tree. Now, yes, they look super cute. They have all different types of themes and stuff at the Dollar Tree for wrapping paper. And you may say, oh, that one is really cute. Oh, that one is really cute. And you just take it and purchase it. But here's the thing. Me, I, I love it. It's cute, whatever. But I need to find the one that's most mostly going to be budget friendly it also is going to wrap enough gifts not just like one or two gifts but a, a few quite a few gifts a mumsy wanted this one this one is really cute it has rudolph the red nosed reindeer now this is only 20 square feet so i mean yeah you could get some pretty good wrappings out of it but i like to look for the ones that have more square footage this one here is 30 square feet and this just says happy holidays on it which is fine some of them i would just definitely make sure to purchase like the ones that have the most square footage now you can also get lucky and find some that are 40 square feet they'll be um they may not be as cute like with disney characters and things of that nature but you can find some really really cute ones or really nice ones with more square footage the ones that have the less square footage footage is the ones that are like for Disney characters now like are any type of kind of like cartoonish character this is another 20 square foot one this is also another Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer one this one is a 40 square footage one and this one just has your typical snowman and Santa on it they're not a character they're just you know your holiday you know symbols but I would rather get twice for the same price so yes that is my method to getting enough wrapping paper at the Dollar Tree now on to some of the other Dang. things I used to always constantly 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 because I had two sons buy those action figures for them the wrestler action figures constantly so each one of them would have like 10 a piece nobody wants to sit there and wrap like 20 to 30 action figures you know that's just a lot so what I would do is I would buy like the huge gift bags and each one of my kids or each one of my sons would have their 10 action figures in it with a bow. You guys already know what it is. I'm not going to sit here and individually wrap them because I have more stuff to wrap. So I love the gift bags because you can get any size for a buck. This one right here is a really cute. It's a penguin. It has glitter on it. On the other side is just basic and plain. And this is what I'm going to use for one of my friend's kids. I'm going to put all of her little items that I purchased in here for her. So that way she's only three. She doesn't want to stand there. She wants to know what's inside. So I'm going to use that. For the gift giving, little simple things. This is not really a gift. Um, this was for my grandson, Tinky. It's a cute little doll, um, soft body. This is cute for those who like to give their kids dolls. Or they have a smaller child and they want them to have a little baby doll. These are really really cute so you know and boys can have baby dolls too okay 
So I thought these were super cute. These are the dollhouse furnitures on little mini dolls. And what little girl does not love anything a little furniture? They, they, they love dolls. They love, little girls love dolls. So this comes with a bed, a makeup vanity, so we could beat our face, or oh, well, she could beat her face, and the actual doll. And this is cute, especially if they have like a little house already, then you know, you don't have to buy everything a dollar for cheap, but sometimes it's cute to just add on to their furniture. It's really cute to go to the Dollar Tree because you can find little furniture that can add on instead of spending like super duper bucks. So this, this one right here, she she comes with a desk and a chair and little mama. This one here comes with the dining room table set, bookshelf, coffee table, and chair. Oh, she has blonde hair. This is really super cute stuff. I hope you guys can see that because it is in the plastic. This one is the kitchen set so she could cook herself some dinner. So see, these are cute. You just add them on to what, already, what they already have, you know? Um, I also did get my friend's daughter some little pink bracelets because she is such a little diva. She is the cutest little thing. And she's actually the girl who braids my daughter's hair. Um, she does great braids out here in Arizona. So if you guys are interested, I will um, leave her information below if I don't then please let me know because I know a lot of people are looking for braiders and she's really inexpensive but she do the bombest braids so I got I got her daughter some of these it's basically just a little gift bag with a whole bunch of little things in it that she would enjoy for those of you who have dolls Barbie dolls for your girls great place to get some Barbie doll clothing this is the fairy fashion doll outfit really cute it comes with some shoes a purse and like a fairy dress um sorry you can't see it on camera really well because the lights but another Barbie like outfit this is more or less like a denim shorts and a crew neck shirt some shoes and a bag she got a cute ass outfit for a dollar okay um, I don't really know how I got two of these um, but yeah another um, one of the little miniatures this is also another one of the dining room set of course there's six of these that I bought in total I will give three to Mumsy just to add on to her little dollhouse that she has for Christmas. This one here is a maxi dress. This is a maxi dress, purse and shoes included. So Mumsy is the one with the Barbie dolls. I don't know how I got two outfits, but you know what, whatever. Um, also being that she's three, um, or she's four, almost four, I did get her one of these Little People Fisher Price coloring pages. It's more or less like an activity package that they can take with them. And it comes with crayons, 24 sheets of coloring paper, and a sheet of stickers. So when she and her mom are in the car she has something to do and bring along with her also whenever I go she's always asking me about candy April you got some gum you got some candy and I always forget so this time around I ain't forget and I told her the other day I'm gonna bring you back some candy this weekend because I gotta go get my other daughter's hair done so in her box because it's only a buck I did put some lifesaver gummies in there for her and these are great to take to the movie theaters as well because they cost like triple or quadruple the price um sour patch watermelon kids some of these cute lollipops there's probably like um there are six in a package they're really really cute and festive they more or less have swirls and things every kid loves cookies and i love these i don't know about y'all but i do love these canned cookies i have never seen them well i have but i like the little tins they are really cute so this is for her put it right in her little bag so she can have a little snack um, I bought three of these. These was not for anybody but me and totally forgot about them. I love me some Yorkshire peppermint patties. Um, some of the Mike and Ike mega mixes. These also go in her little gift bag. Candy cane, Christmas, um, what do you call this stuff? Cotton candy. Really cute because the tub you can save afterwards. So it's cotton candy. I love cotton candy and I'm pretty sure she does too. Peanut butter bites. These are really good. I love these. Um, I don't really like the bites. I like the big sizers, big sizes because I love to dunk them in milk. It tastes so good like that. She also was asking me, have I ever played with Play-Doh before? So they had these at the Dollar Tree and this is the actual Play-Doh brand. So I did get her like a purple lavender color, a bright orange color, a kind of like pinkish color, and a yellow color. I know there was another one that I got. Okay, and the green one. So I also got her five of those. And some more other little goodies like some ring pops. These, like I said, she's always asking me about gum. So I got her some bazooka gum. And is some Skittles. Now on to my things or just other things that I purchased. Me and Mumsy, we've been wanting to, to drink some hot chocolate for a minute, y'all. Like, I don't really know why. Sometimes I get in the mood for like certain things. I'm not really like a huge hot chocolate drinker, but... If you are, these are super cute tumblers, coffee mugs, hot chocolate mugs to drink 
you know, for a buck. These do really last. These are really good tumblers because I did have one prior to this. And the top just unscrews. You do have like a rubber grip right here, which will help your hands from just scolding. And this one has just Christmas stuff on it. Also for my mumsy, she has the one that kind of looks similar to mine's, but this one is the one with the penguins on it, but still very Christmassy. And one for my daughter, Nay. We don't really know she likes hot chocolate, but we couldn't leave her out, so she has one as well. Really cute for a buck. Of course, I couldn't forget the hot chocolate, so this is the Swiss Miss. I bought two boxes of these. These are the ones with the marshmallows. And it's a six pack, so I did get two packs because I like it really chocolatey, so I like to put at least like two to two and a half. And if you love more marshmallows, got yourself a mini bag of marshmallows. A double pack of toothbrushes for Tinky. The last haul I did, I actually went there and got him some toothbrushes, but it seems like he loves to brush his teeth all day, every day. So you have to watch him with the toothbrushes because he'll either try to clean the floor or the sink with it while he's brushing his teeth or put it in the toilet. So the Dollar Tree is really good for kids that love to brush their teeth but really don't know what to do with the toothbrush. Um, some super heavy duty batteries. These actually do work good. Um, let's be honest. It all depends on what you're using them for. Okay. So I'll use these for my microphone that is attached to my camera. And sometimes I do forget to turn the microphone off and it'll be on all night and the camera will be off. The battery is still working and kicking in it. Okay. Um, I've had the same battery in my microphone for like two months now and it works amazing. It all depends on the actual product that you're using it on. This is ideal for low drain devices. So this is super heavy duty, but it also does say ideal, ideal for low drain devices. So the microphone is a low drain. It's not eating up a lot of power, like certain things um, that you would use it for. Like if you were using it for like a game remote, like a console game remote, like a PlayStation or an Xbox, then I don't really suggest getting these because they will eat the hell out of your batteries um also if you have a camera like my kodak camera it used to take batteries and it could also charge when i would use these i could probably get like about a good 50 shots and then it was done the batteries are done so it all depends if you have a low drainage like remote control microphones something that's low drainage then these super heavy duty sunbeam batteries are great for that another one as you know, I did get a duster last week. I seen this one and was like, oh, this is even better. This is the chiffon one. You can actually remove this and put it in the wash. So I really do like this one because of the grip on it versus um, the one that I purchased last week. This one is just as good. It's a little dirty, of course, but these you, you cannot put in the washing machine. You would have to throw away. Um, either way, they both work really great, but I wanted to give this one a try, you know? Some children's anti-cavity fluoride rinse in bubblegum flavor. Not really sure what's up with that, but... Now I did see these at the Dollar Tree. These are the White Rain Boutique Collection Shea Butter Body Lotions. So I seen these. I thought, okay, let me give this a try. These are great to carry in your purse or keep in the car with you. But these are by a reputable brand or a more or less a known brand. White Rain may not be the best brand, but you know, it will serve the purpose. Their moisturizing shower gel. This flavor or scent rather, it doesn't say, but I'm thinking it's probably more or less like a citrus scent because of the coloring For a buck i would try this eye makeup remover i do use um a lot of makeup remover i go through makeup remover really quick so for a buck uh we're gonna see how this works out all right we're gonna see how this works out some more washcloths these are the microfiber washcloths you get a bonus instead of three you get four includes an extra washcloth these feel very soft okay very very soft in fact they're so soft that they are snagging onto my dead skin tmi right so I did get two of these. Um, just gonna put these in my son's bathroom downstairs. He's the one who's always taking my wash clothes and cleaning his damn shoes with them. So here you go. You can either wash your face or wash your shoes. Pick your poison and enjoy them. And the last couple of items is some green tea. This is supposed to be natural source of anti um, antioxidants. And this is 100 tea bags. And me and Tati said we're going to give these a try, okay? Because, of course, these are the Bumblebee Buffalo Style Chicken Salad with crackers ready to eat. 
So this is supposed to be the hot one. I'm not really sure if it, oh, it does come with crackers. So you get five buttery crackers. You get a spoon and a can of the buffalo chicken. Really cool, so we both have one. We are gonna give this a try. She was like, just get one, but girl, how are we supposed to share this little can? There's some crackers and a spoon in here. I can only imagine how much chicken gonna be up in here, uh, for real, you know what I'm saying? So yes, that was everything. So now what I'm about to do is enjoy me. Well, I can't really enjoy me a nice cup of hot chocolate until Mumsy comes home because that would be so cheap full of me. But I will be enjoying me um, some of these and a, and, a, and, a, and a drink drink. Okay? So on that note, thanks for staying too. Merry Christmas, you guys. And um, thanks for staying tuned and coming through and i see you guys on in soon to come videos stay diva and divalicious and i love you guys